Hi, Stephen from Life Aquatic Diving here. And for today's video, to celebrate 160 subscribers, we're going to be doing this insane survival mission here in the wild forests of Brazil. So smash up the likes, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get into this. The first priority was just to get the tent up, it created a much better enclosure and much more hidden over here where we can move the tent away from this muddy ground up to a nice dry safe area. The big challenge now is the rain, we don't want to get caught in, in rain while moving the tent. There we go. Okay. That's much better. It's on slightly higher ground. Slightly. Well. For now I'm going to just sit, think and ponder my next move. That's my view. So I set up this little hatch to keep things off the ground. explore a bit better around here hope this water level does not rise too much or we will be truly screwed so I guess I should start to explore the immediate environment maybe later we should consider moving everything a bit further back over here Definitely more protected, but less comfortable. Camp set up three. Definitely no chance of flooding now. Which is better. Much better. Get everything in. Get all of these little bits and pieces here. Not much to do now except just sit and wait for nightfall. Might be a good idea to tackle up the rods while there's still some light. So yeah, this is the camp. And I just made this neat little torch hanger from a piece of cord that I found at the side of the lagoon. Yeah, there you can see the view that I'm seeing. Better weather would be nice, but weather yeah, changes quickly. So hopefully we'll have a nice still evening. I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm settled in camp. So I'm just gonna make a crude bush cup out of this empty water bottle that I have there. And this will be great for measuring out things like quantities of rice, water, basic drinking water, because I did not bring a cup. So, uh, yeah, there we have it. A crude little bush cup. And now we have a nice container to measure out the ratio of rice to water. I'm going to boil that on the fire later. So there are a few tools I want to keep with me at all times. Something for fire, my flashlight, and the trusty trusty Swiss Army knife. These I have with me at all times. Light, fire and some kind of cutting implement. Right now we're gonna gather firewood and assess the weather situation. Make the fire. So 
here you always want to gather your wood when it's still light if you can to me that's just intuitive bushcraft this is yeah pieces of kindling so what i've got here is just this basic little grill with a few coals and some fire lighter and then the wood that we've gathered so my plan is if we catch anything live is to cook it on the coals Fire is definitely comforting. Okay, so it's very windy. So I've decided to just put the pot on now and get it cooking. And um, if we find some crabs or something, we'll sort those out later. I'm just worried that the weather might change and it might start raining. And it looks like more bad weather rolling in, so I don't think there's going to be much chance of crab or fish tonight. Looks like this is it. So uh, I'm going to take this off the heat, let it sit for a while and just kill the fire. Safety reasons. we got fishermen out hunting for crabs. I don't even think they can see me here. Yeah? Oh, I don't even think they have spotted me here. Yeah? I heard their voices. You can see them with their lamps, their lanterns. It's what I should be doing, but I can't be bothered right now. Very cold, wet night. So it's a new morning. Got the new fire going to provide a bit of warmth. Yeah, actually quite cold, so let's see, hopefully this does the job. Just finished breakfast, which was pretty much the same as dinner. Now we're about to take the kayak out for a little fishing, so let's get started on that. So we got something quite interesting on the line. Pe Pesci espada, spade fish you could call it, pipe fish. I really don't want to hurt this thing or, 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 or cause it much trauma. So I'm going to try my absolute best to get it, the hook out and get it back in the water safely. Okay, so I actually got the hook out nice and easy. There you can see the fish. And yeah, there he goes. This time we got a catfish. Caught so many of these, I'm getting kind of tired of them. Hopefully I can get the hook out and save him. Uh, I don't feel like keeping this one today. It's gonna be another catch and uh, release for this one. There he goes. Okay, weather conditions are changing out here. Well, it is blowing me in towards the shore. You can see we're blowing directly towards the camp actually. It's cleaned out pretty good. Small fish can feed one person. Tomato pepper. 
onion, just gonna stuff all this inside, really, nothing fancy. Put a bit of lemon juice in there. And yeah, that's, that's gonna be our lunch today. Can I just put the fish on the grill? And yeah, this should make for a pretty tasty lunch. So we're in the final stages here, but I've created this little thing to wash my hands. Everything's more complicated out here. Still a little soapy, but definitely better than fish baits, that's for sure. Got a nice hot fire going here. Yeah? Get this fish onto those hot coals. I'd say our fish is just about done and it's time for lunch. I think I'm just going to dig into this with my hands actually. And, um, yeah. So I'm just tucking into this fish here, which is called Corvina. And um, yeah, it's actually really good. Just take the bone out. that but basically tasty meat there really good protein yeah so we're gonna start wrapping it up now I'm gonna stash the kayak here and then think what my next move is going to be. Batteries are getting low. And uh, the weather is not great, as you can see. So there it is. Hidden under a layer. Hidden under a layer of camo. Yeah, in this bush. Really cool bromeliads. And interesting. Interesting palm trees around. Yeah, these palms, they have these little berries. And I'm pretty sure are acai. If you look here, isn't that acai? Well, I don't know. I've been in this forest too long. Now we got to tear down the tent in the hope that it's not going to rain. Okay, this is it. Camp broken down. That's what we're going to be carrying with us. So this is Stephen from Life Aquatic Diving and that was our survival camping kayaking video. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and share it with all your friends and remember to ring the bell so you can receive more videos like this. Thanks, Stephen, Life Aquatic Diving.